EA Sports, and the Corn Ferry Tour are proud to feature some of the best young talent in the world of golf. From Harbor Town Golf Links on Hilton Head Island, live second round coverage of the Hilton Head Invitational. Well, if we see more of what we witnessed yesterday, we're in for a heck of a battle these next three days as we show you the current leaderboard here on this Friday. We've got a tie at the top at six under par. And the golfer we'll be watching, definitely in contention, just three shots off the lead. And a good approach shot, just not quite as close as what you'd like, but still solid. Look here at birdie. And this is when you'd expect to make more often than not, not too much undulation, maybe just a slight move to the right. Mm, got it there, but not quite on target. safely in. It's a par here at first. And she'll stay three shots off the lead. On now to the second hole, the first of three par fives here at Harbor Town, at a mere 502 yards. It is also the shortest of these par fives. Any misses right or left of the fairway could block you out from going for the green in two. But a drive of the short grass could open up one of the best scoring opportunities on the course. So that ball nestles down in the rough. Just got away a little bit on that tee ball. Really hit that second shot on the button to this par five, but Frank couldn't get it to stop. Yeah, too good, too long, sadly. for a blast out of the bunker. Nearly hold it for Eagle. Okay, no problems there. Finishing off a birdie at number two. And she'll move four under par. Up next, the 469-yard par four third. Trees lining both sides of the fairway, so a straight tee shot is imperative. More bogeys than birdies here, so 
most players are happy with a par. No issues here, that is into the fairway. From the fairway, Noda, her second coming up. 159 yards left to the hole, coming off a birdie at the previous hole, looking to go back to back. Well, she should be happy with that shot. Good chance for birdie inside 20 feet. Just want to nestle this one down to within a couple of feet. Yep, not bad. Had to put a little extra into that one, but got it there. That's a pretty good effort. So that safely in. It's a par here at the third. And she'll remain two shots off the pace. 200 yard par three fourth offering a classic peat die risk reward design. You have to carry the water hazard running the length of the hole. Better to miss right than short or long where a thirsty lagoon lurks. Okay, that's on the green, but this carries well past the flag stick, so a long putt coming up. Mm, yeah, that's a pretty good putt, just a little bit off the mark. Okay, that one finished off. It's a par here at four. And she'll remain at four under par. Now to the second of the par fives, the 549 yard fifth. It's a dog leg left off the tee with bunkers on either side of the fairway, but a good drive up near or beyond that cart path should leave you with a good look into a green that slopes off to the right. Ah, solid, a good drive in the fairway.
Oh, this par five green is well protected. That's two good shots, but that bunker's there for a reason. Now, with some nifty sand play, we're looking at four. Oh boy, just about flew that one in the hole. Luckily got it to stop. Not a bad shot. Yes, a good read. It's a birdie here at five. And she'll move now to five under par. Onward now to the 419 yard, par 46. Dog leg right, best to aim the tee shot to the left of the fairway bunker on the right. Land there, and the green is very accessible, and the birdie might be in the offing. Well, not this time. That one's in the rough. Might be a tough shot coming up. Second shot coming up, and we say hello to Iona Steven. 121 yards is the number we're looking at. Pin on the right-hand side, so plenty of room to the left of it. That's a good shot, and more importantly, too, a green in regulation, so birdie chance. in for par here at the sixth and she's going to hold on at five under on to the seventh at 195 yards this one of the tougher par threes on the course the water shouldn't be a big issue more pressing those two giant trees that serve like sentries at the front of the green any ball that gets hung up in there could very likely come down in that bunker that encircles about 90% of the green. And that one not on the green, but not in a terrible spot either. Sitting up in the short grass. Yep, well done. That's in for par here at seven. And her score is going to stay right where it is. On to the number one handicap hole here at Harbor Town, And fittingly, the one considered the most difficult, the par four eighth at 473 yards. Overzealous golfers could run out of fairway when using the driver. But the approach to a narrow green with a long bunker left and water makes the second shot one of the most harrowing on the course.
No problems there. That's going to wind up safely in the fairway. Well, had a good look at the green, but couldn't hash it in. In the rough now, wondering what might have been. Oh, it doesn't hurt to leave it short when you do that. Well done. That is a birdie from off the green. We wrap up the front nine here at Harbor Town with the 332-yard par 4 ninth. What this hole lacks in distance, it makes up for by forcing golfers to be strategic off the tee. A large bunker prevents tee shots from running on, so best to lay up short and take a wedge into this boomerang-shaped green. And this has started a little to her left. Uh, errant tee shot here, Rich, but gonna have to muscle this one out of the rough. Okay, sensible play right there, and that one on deck. This is a 13-footer. Oh, that one led perfectly. It is a birdie here at the ninth. That'll mean this is a 32 on the front, four under par. The back nine starts here at the 451 yard, par 410. This hole offers one of the few real wide landing zones to take aim at. However, beware of the lagoon left. If you can find the short grass, birdie is very much in play. Looking for a strong finishing kick here on this Friday to get set up for the weekend and that another good drive here. This one has a chance to be close. I always looked inside that 15 feet circle. Anything inside that was going to be a good shot. So in my book, that's a good shot. Oh, how about the run here? That a third consecutive birdie. And with it, she's got it now to eight under par. This 11th hole at 436 yards is another test requiring precision over power. This fairway narrows the nearer it gets to this green, which is surrounded by four unique bunkers.
Everything flowing really well right now. Coming off three birdies in a row. Here's another solid tee shot as well. This Noda, her second from the fairway. She's left herself with 150 yards to the hole, pin in the back. Well, no surprise. We've already seen some great iron shots this week, but that is another one. Shouldn't be much in this for Birdie. Oh, everything going right now. That a fourth consecutive Birdie. And she'll move to nine under par. The 12th hole at 430 yards is one of the rare dogleg rights on this course. If you can steer your ball into the fairway off the tee, you'll be left with a very manageable approach to a green flanked by bunkers both left and right. Looking for a strong finishing kick here on this Friday to get set up for the weekend in that. Another good drive here. I really like her golf swing, and that's another good shot. She should be happy with that one. Gonna have to give this a pretty good thump. This is well back there and into the hill. Oh, dude, that. What a roll that was. A long one in for birdie. And she's into double figures now at 10 under par. So many visually arresting holes here at Harbortown. This might be the best of the bunch. The 373-yard par 4 13th. Architect Pete Dye created some of the best work that golf has ever seen. But credit the design on this hole, as well as the 17th at TPC Sawgrass, to his wife, Alice, who drew up this design. How's this? On a napkin. And some trouble here for our leader. That is into the bunker off the tee. So now she's looking at a tough second here out of the sand. I'd give that an 8 or a 9 out of 10. Being in a fairway bunker and safely on the green, you never know. Might even sneak a birdie. Close. Couldn't ask for much more on that putt. 
Okay, safely in for par here at 13. And the lead's going to remain two. The 14th now at Harbortown, a par three at 190 yards. Don't let the fact that this is the number 18 handicap hole fool you. The danger is self-evident on this hole as water runs all along the right side of the green. That one, safely on the putting surface. Now this for another birdie. That's not quite dead from there. That is a good distance short. Okay, good putt. And a par here at 14. And she's going to hold on at minus 10. The sole par 5 on Harbor Town's back nine is this one, the 15th at 588 yards. Most of the problems here come on that second shot, which requires you either to play a big right to left or to cut the angle, hit it over the trees, and hope you've got it online. Looking for a strong finishing kick here on this Friday to get set up for the weekend in that. Another good drive here. Well, just a good solid shot right there with that three wood, Frank. That's an aggressive layup, really, trying to force that three wood down and get it as close as possible to the green. That's two good shots if you can't reach the par five. Yeah, good putt. That's in for par here at 15. And her score is going to stay right where it is. The final three-hole stretch begins here at the 434-yard par 4 16th. It's a dog leg left with an expanse of sand running along much of the entire left side of the hole.
Once again, another great tee shot. Uh, I'm starting to wonder how low can you go? And the driving has been simply superb. So this, Iona, her second from the fairway. Well, it's 128 yards left to the flag to date and the pin on the left portion of the green. And that not going to work out as intended. It'll wind up coming to rest just off the green. Okay, didn't want to let that one get away. It is a par here at 16, and this will remain a one-shot advantage. You come to the 17th hole, and you finally realize, that's right, I'm on an island. It's a par three measuring out at 174 yards. A spectacular view looking out over the water toward Defusky Island. The biggest issue here, that bunker that juts across the front and left portions of the green. Disappointment right there, Frank. Yeah, green light special, really. Come up considerably short. Yeah, that's going to be just okay. Might have been a little worried about not getting it out, and instead, this is going to leave a tough putt coming up. Well, it is for a bogey four. And she's going to fall out of the top spot and wind up one shot back. The 18th hole, one of the real signature holes on the PGA Tour. It's a par four at 472 yards. Sort of a visually awkward landing area. You want to make sure you don't hit it through the fairway and into the hazard. But a good drive sets up a gorgeous finish, taking dead aim at that beacon of a lighthouse. Looking for a strong finishing kick here on this Friday to get set up for the weekend and that another good drive here. Now a second from 173. And that approach shot finishes up on the safe side. That's the right side of the green, but the hole is cut, as we can see, on the left. So long putt.
Yeah, that's a good putt there to save her par here at 18. So our featured golfer here, pretty solid through the first two days, safely through to the weekend and squarely in the conversation. That's right.